Brandy and I'm back on to do a review of um, some products that I received in a giveaway that was hosted by Mel Cherie. It was for the, I believe, either November or October box and it was the Allocade Naturals Takeover. So I'm going to go the through first these products. The first is the Allocade Naturals possible. Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioner and this came in an 8 ounce size bottle and as you can see I have been using it quite a bit. Uh, and that shows that I do love this product. Um, it's a very light leave-in conditioner. Um, the smell of it, I actually love the smell of it. Some people say it smells like um, lemon pine saw. I guess I kind of agree with that. I'm not sure, but it, it's a great smell and I assume this is what lemongrass smells like, which I've never had the pleasure of smelling lemongrass, but I'm assuming that's what this smells like. Some of the key ingredients are water, glycerin, almond oil, wheat germ, protein, silk amino acids, lemongrass extract, BTMS, and herbal and botanical blends. And of course, none this worked really great on my hair. I love like very, um, I guess not too heavy leave-ins. I use the Kinky Curly Knot today. Usually I don't. Um, really like spray leave-ins, but this one, I must say, um, I think that has changed on it. Um, as I said, I like the smell of it. I feel like it does coat my hair really well. It's lightweight. I can use it with other products, my stylers, and just all around a great product, and I suggest that you go and pick it up. I will on the screen. The next one is the deep conditioner. It's the Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner. This is what it looks like. Hopefully it focuses. And let me open it up so you can see the consistency of it inside as well. It's not too thick. It's actually, well, actually it is kind of thick. It's actually somewhat thick, but it does go on really well. It's nice, it seeps right into your hair. The only, the only bad thing I have to say about this is the smell. I absolutely hate the smell of this crap. It's honey and sage, so I expect it to smell like that, but I just feel like the sage is so overpowering in this, use this that I will not, I use this not take the smell of this. And I mean, it actually does linger in your hair, or at least it did in my hair, until I co-wash like two, day, two or three days later. Um, my hair felt really smooth, really moisturized, and all that good stuff. But the smell of it, if I could get this in, you know, like with no fragrance or something that smells better, I definitely, you know, purchase this. But I won't be using this again. I'll probably give it away to someone, to my mom, friend, whoever. Okay, moving on. The next product is the Creme Brulee Curling Custard, and it looks like this. Now, I don't really use um, products that are like curling products. I really good. It smells like candy somewhat. And let me just see if I can show you the consistency of it. It's very like viscous and just comes right out like little like globs. But I use this product and I did, you know, my normal styling techniques and I just did a tutorial of my hair reg of my curly hair regimen and I don't know if it's going to go up before this or after this but it, if it goes up after this video or before I will put the link in the description box and you can check that out as well but with this product um, I love the smell of it let me see what it feels like it's it's kind of thin it seems like it will provide really really great slip I use you know a decent amount of it I don't feel like I use too much and I don't feel like I use too little but the feeling that it gave my hair was like it was it, I can't even describe this the feel of it actually it just didn't feel soft and I just it did not like the way that my hair and felt while it was drying I didn't like the way it felt after it finished drying and you know I believe the very next day I ended up co-washing my hair and redoing it with my other products that I that are my old faithfuls. So I really did not like this product at all. I will not be using it again. I did care for it. 
The next product is the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer, and it looks like this. And this right here is a very thick product. Of course, it's Shea based, so this is what it looks like. I have used a good bit of it, but it's very, very thick, as you can see. It's just like Shea Butter almost. But I will say it does go right into the skin, and it gives you a great great sheen on your skin on your hair whatever it may be but it's super thick and with me i don't have super thick hair mine is like medium thickness and some some days i feel like it's fine like fine hair but yeah i don't use this too often i tried sealing with this the first time and that was a mistake especially when my hair was wet because i can never really tell how much product i'm putting on my hair when it's wet especially if it's like an oil which is why i don't really seal with oils i usually put them on like afterwards or the second or third day of wearing my hair curly i'll like moisturize with it that way but other than that i i don't really use them as you can see i have a lot of this left because a little goes a long way and she even says that on the instructions or the directions it says that it can be used on wet or dry hair and um on dry hair, put small amount in hand and rub palms together, then apply product to a hair, to hair, starting at roots, then style as usual. I saw on here somewhere, or either it was the website that says, a little goes a long way, only use a little. And the smell of this one, it took some getting used to, but I actually like the smell now. I find that with some of my products, like when I first open them up, I hate the smell of them, but then as I'm using them over and over, I end up liking the smell. Except for that honey and sage. I don't think I will ever like the smell of that. But this, I actually like the smell. Some may call me crazy because it's a lemon, it's a lemon scent to it, but it's kind of not the best lemon scent. Nonetheless, I like it. And the last product is the Essential 17 Hair Growth Oil. Looks like this. Now, it's a lot of awesome, awesome oils in here. Let me see if I can read the small print to just give you, name a few of the oils. Um, it says emu oil, rosemary oil, organic olive oil, uh, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, horsetail powder, peppermint oil, herbal and botanical blends, and I'm sure there are other oils in them. And this actually, if you can see the bottom of it, it has the like herbs or some flex in it, so you have to, you have to shake this up before you use it. Now, I tend to use this on my scalp. I will say, like, I don't believe in the whole hair growth oils or anything like that. But um, I do put it on my scalp, and it, it has done really well, especially since it's winter time, you know, the colder months, and I have been experiencing some dryness on my scalp. So I will use this. Um, the next time I wash my hair, I'll probably do a hot oil treatment with this. And I also um, put it on my on the length of my hair during like the fourth or fifth day of wearing my hair curly or if I decide to put it, my hair up in a bun, I will use this. Um, the smell of the oil is different. I can, I really can't. I'm assuming you know, you maybe what it smells like rosemary and some of the other herbs that are in here that's um, attributing to the smell of it. Oh, let me say, this is, this is a two ounce bottle these are also the small containers like this are two ounces so everything was like a sample size except for the leave-in which is great because that's the product that I love the most I'd say the leave-in is my first choice of product and I will purchase this um, once I run out and then I would say the 17 growth oil is my second favorite and then after that is the shea yogurt hair moisturizer and the other two I just did not like at all but overall that's pretty much it for um, my review of these products I'll continue to use them and so thanks again to Mel Cherie for hosting this giveaway and also Curlbox and if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I've mentioned if you know I left something out that you'd like to know please feel free to leave me anything in the comments until next box time, guys. I'll see you later um, bye